What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, I really want to talk about um, a video that was shared with me on Facebook. Uh, by a brother named Malcolm. Um, now, typically, I don't like guys just sending me random videos, but in his case, uh, this is a good one. Very few people send me relevant stuff that I could talk on, but this was a good video. I want to give my brother Malcolm a shout out for that. And it was Charleston White uh, doing a video on Say Cheese TV. Now, <clears throat> Say Cheese TV is out of the Dallas Fort Worth area. Um, they work with a lot of local artists there. And I think the Say Cheese TV's competitive advantage in comparison to, let's say, Vlad. Because Vlad, I mean, obviously Vlad has a certain advantage too because he deals, he's in LA, right? But the certain advantage that Say Cheese has is they're dealing with the Texas market almost exclusively too. So they're able to bring in artists, you know, the before they even get big, you know, the Mo Threes of the world, people like that before he passed, you know, that whole Dallas cir circuit. So they're able to monetize that area pretty good. And in the Dallas Fort Worth area, there's a guy that is popping right now by the name of Charleston White. Now Charleston White was like a guy that was in the community when I first saw him a few months ago. He wasn't like he is now. He was very calm in his demeanor and stuff like that. But I guess, you know, after a few thousand subscribers, this is right when the Mo3 killing had happened. So it had to be like no no more than seven months ago, less, you know, at the, at the, at the most. Um, He's been ranting like on his page, you know, dissing Malcolm X, you know, he had some, you know, controversial things to say about that. But, um, you know, the brother who owns Say Cheese TV, um, I forgot the brother's name right now, but, the, the the brother said, you know, the brother basically was asking uh, Sean Cotton. And Sean Cotton's a really savvy entrepreneur, young brother. Um, he asked the brother, how did he feel about Kevin Samuels? Now, you know, I had to hear what he had to say because Charleston White is very controversial. Charleston White pretty much said that he felt, um, you know, Kevin Samuels was a homosexual. Um, and we, we all know that that's pretty much what, what folks are going to say these days, but he also added to the fact that Kevin Samuels, um, shouldn't be giving advice to women because steel sharpens steel. And with that notion that that's the women's problem, women should be advising women on what's going on. Now, in this case, this is the, I don't understand, I don't know if, if Charleston White understands, you know, what's going on in um, the macro community of, of black America, but what we have seen in the last 50 years is exactly what he's talking about. Women advising women. Women advising men. Okay. And for me, I feel like I'm not the kind of person that feels like I need to be advising women, so I don't. I could never have a show like Kevin Samuels, I get flat. I don't have that patience. It would be optimal if women can do that. But what we see is that women are giving women bad advice, in my, in my general opinion. Because a lot of women who want to, and this is not all women, but usually I see that this is typically the case in our black community because... You know, women are not advising women as much to get married, how to partner with a man. What you're seeing is women tell a woman that they can do it all by themselves when they, you know, studies have shown that our families are not as successful as other groups. And because of that trend, this has led women to a lot of unhappiness. A lot of women, I feel, are threatened by other women, so they give them bad advice. So when Kevin Samuels comes along and he gives women advice that, I know that it's true. They know that it's true. Then we deal with ad hominems. And the ad hominem that Say Cheese TV, um, uh, well, pretty much that, that was said on Say Cheese by Charleston uh, White was, well, he don't have a woman. 
So how can he advise somebody on a woman? Which is a really good ad hominem argument. Because how do you know that he don't have a woman? Now, I know Kevin Samuels personally. Okay? Just like he knows me personally. We can't divulge our information of who we're dealing with on social media. Because what will you do? You will troll them. You guys will stalk them. I mean, look at Hassan Campbell. Hassan Campbell said that somebody put out information on his wife. And because of that, now his wife and him are getting the divorce. That was a few days ago. So if you're a YouTuber, you can't put your information out there about your, who, you're, who you're dating, who your woman is. Because people are so nasty and so rude. People are so disrespectful. You can't put your kids up there. People are so disrespectful. People will go up there and take pictures of your uh, of your mom. I I've had people do that um, to me. People have found out who you you know you, you come out there and do all kind of. I had a real big beef with a uh, with a with a with a with a, uh, with a Buster. I won't call the person's name today, but um, he went out and had my mom's name in his super chat, and I know who did it. Had it all in his Discord. Making Photoshop fit members of your family and stuff like that. That's the, that's the reason why you don't. And I don't play like that. I don't put people's family members out there. And what's what's interesting is this particular person now is being a victim of that. But I don't do that. I don't do that. And Kevin Samuels, you know. What is the guy supposed to do? Come on here with his girlfriend, let you know what her name is, just so you can bother her? And then let me also uh, talk about what Charleston uh, wife said that you know that there's no uh, there's there's no such thing as a high value man. There's certain things. There's just a man. Okay. Well, Charleston, if that's true, that sounds very socialistic and communism, commun commun you know communalistic. If you ask me. There are differences between people, whether you want to like it or not. There are people who are more skilled, who are more talented. We are not all created equal. We may all deserve the same rights as humans, but we're not all equal. Okay? There are different things that, that you can afford, that somebody else can't afford, or things that you can't afford, somebody else can afford. There's skills that certain people have, you don't have. And certain people are just at the top of the echelon. That's just like saying all NBA players are the same. Okay, well then, give me Benoit Benjamin then and not Michael Jordan. Obviously, not all quarterbacks are the same. Is there a big difference between Jameis Winston and Tom Brady? Well, we saw that last year. Get rid of Jameis Winston and put Tom Brady in there at quarterback, and you get the Super Bowl, and you win it. All men are not created equal like that. There are some men who are better performers than other guys. There's a difference between, let's say, me and Elon Musk. There's a big difference. Okay? We don't all start off with the same advantages. So when you hear guys, you know, like Charleston White, and I mean, I, I understand what he's saying to certain degrees and stuff like that. And he went on on Dr. Umar Johnson, too which I'm not going to deal with right now. I might come back with a, a, a different video with that. But the, 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 the gist of what I'm saying is this. The gist of what I'm saying is this. A lot of guys don't really understand what they're talking about before they really want to make a real good assessment. Because it goes back to this. What about what he's saying? Is it true or not? You can't deal with the fact that well, he sounds like he's gay, or I think he's gay. That's something totally different. Or, where is his woman at? Or, high-value men that make $100,000, they're the ones that buy blow-up dolls. This is something that somebody who are blow-up dolls, he didn't say that, he said um, mail-order brides. Again, this is somebody who's never probably made $100,000 in a year that talks like this. I mean, when you're talking about things that you don't understand, then you make stuff up. Well, you know, the guys that make $100,000 a year, them the guys that want to buy uh, 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 mail order brides. What, what are you talking about? 
Like, this is, this is what happens when you have an achievement thing in your life. You say things that you don't understand. And you know, Say Cheese TV is just sitting there letting them say it. Well, if that's the case, then Say Cheese TV, I'm pretty sure it's Sean Cotton. And if you listen to this, Sean Cotton, I know, make well over $100,000 a year. Ask if Sean Cotton is buying mail order brides. Sean Cotton don't love these broads. Sean Cotton got houses, real estate. I'm sure he running through them. You sitting there on a guy's platform that makes probably a million dollars a year. Ask if he has to do that. He don't have to do that. He got more options. This is another thing when you talk about guys who don't have success and then they want to talk down on guys who actually got success. It don't make any sense. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first comment at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. Check out the Black Men Perfect t-shirts. I'm out.